What is going on folks? Welcome to the Fishing with Norm YouTube channel. Comment of the day is popping up down below, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and the bell. Leave a comment down below on this video for your chance to be in next video's comment of the day. You might be wondering, why am I sitting here in my truck bed with a gumball machine? Well, I am about to tell you. So ever since I was eight years old, I actually ran my own gumball machine business. Basically, I had a ton of gumball machines in many stores all around the city that I live in. Well, this machine in particular, let's take a look at it. So this machine right here has actually been in my garage for about two Two years now doing absolutely nothing so I thought it would be absolutely amazing to turn this thing into the best fishing tank on YouTube this gumbo machine has so much potential to be like the coolest fishing tank of all time first of all I mean this thing is like four foot tall it's an actual working gumbo machine as you can see I actually had peanut M&Ms and regular M&Ms in here before but basically something really cool about this tank that no other tank offers is that it has two different compartments right here so we could put two fish in this tank that completely do not get along with each other one on this side and then one on that side and we could have two different types of species that have never been seen before in the same tank. This is not going to be an easy task, so let me show you. Basically, here is our gumball machine. We're going to have to make this thing watertight so it actually holds water and can be a fish tank. That is going to be harder than it looks because, I mean, there's so much stuff going on there. I have no clue how we're going to make this thing watertight. We're also going to have to figure out where the filters are going to go in here, and we're going to need two for each side. We are also going to have to figure out other things like the lighting. I want lights, like, on the top here. I think that would look super cool. Maybe some color-changing lights. We are also going to need decorations and also where are all the electrical cords going to go for the pumps i have absolutely no clue but i'm going to give away this gumball fish tank if this video hits 15,000. you heard me right 15,000 likes. I do not want to give this thing away. I know we're not going to hit 15,000 likes, but I just want to give you guys a slimmer of hope. If this video does hit 15,000 likes and you are subscribed to the channel, also, you leave a comment down below on this video. It can be absolutely anything. You were entered to win this gumball fish tank. But anyways, guys, we have to go to the pet store right now. We have to find everything that we need to make this thing the best fishing tank on YouTube. All right, guys, we are here at Carol's Critters pet shop and we have to find something here one to seal it off to make this thing watertight so it holds water two we have to find some type of filter system that way the fish can survive in the tank Here's the aquarium sealant. There's like a little small thing, but I think we're gonna need the big one. And actually, we're probably gonna need two. But this is what we're gonna use to attach the glass to the bottom of the tank. These are both 749, and basically all it is is 100% clear silicone rubber, waterproof, all that good stuff. So we're gonna get both of these for both of the sides. We also need these two deep blue filters, guys. That way we have a filter on each side of the tank. These are great for smaller tanks. This will hang right off the back, and we will be able to get a good filtration system, keep those fish nice and healthy. So we need both of these for $13 a piece, and we also have our sealant here for $749 a piece. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> Did you see this albino turtle? Look at him. Oh, nice Dude, that would man. be so cool for a fish tank sometime. Yeah, that would be pretty but neat. But look at that, $149, Holy guys, for the albino turtle. Should I do it? Let me know, guys, what type of fish we should get down below. There are so many different types at all of these pet stores that just look so cool. I don't know which one to get. We get to actually feed the fish. There's an eel, is it in here? Yep, it's called a snowflake eel. A snowflake eel? Snowflake eel. How do you feed them? We take a little bit of guppies or some oh, rosy reds, so pinch them up, dangle right in front of his face, and he's gonna chomp right on that. Dude, back that's away. crazy, all right. Dude, this is the first time I've ever fed an eel before. <laughs> feed him like wide? Yep, like, so pretty much you wanna grab one of those little guppies. Yeah. <laughs> then they make sure you're still holding it and dangle from his face, and he'll just go chomp right on it. Sweet. That's crazy, all right, Hunter, you get to feed the first one. I'm very proficient with tweezers. You are? <laughs> the no way. No way. Oh, oh my god. Nailed it. <laughs> Let him digest first. He's gotta wait yeah. 30 minutes before he swims. <laughs> Alright guys, this is what we're feeding him. What are these called? Rosy reds. Rosy reds. Going in with the tweezers. Ooh. Oh, I got him right by the tail. Alright. Snip snap. Oh, look at that. Let's see if he can come all the way up. Check this guy out. Oh no, that's not your. Oh! Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> he went right back in the log. Oh, now we get to feed the fish, guys. This is crazy. Oh, look at them. They're feasting. We'll go a little, little for these guys. <laughs> lunch, lunch. A little for those guys, too. 
That's awesome. They love it. Okay guys, me and Hunter are here at Home Depot and guys, we need two things. One thing we need is something to go on the bottom of this to make it watertight. We also need to cut this metal piece. That way the filter can fit kind of on the back. I'll show you guys what we're talking about more when we get in the store. Oh, it's Tim from Home Depot. That's my guy right there. Tim, I need your help, guy. I need your help for the fish tank. What are we doing? Well, we have these thinner ones here, but you're gonna be putting a lot of water weight on them, so probably get the thicker ones right here, same size. You just probably need to, you know, outline them, cut them out, and put them in. dude. Yeah. Thank you, Tim from Home Depot. That's my guy. <laughs> All right, guys, so we have the tank here. Here's the filter that's gonna go right on the back. The only problem is we can't put the lid on because of this pesky little lid right here, so. What we're gonna have to do is cut a little section out, kind of like a big rectangle right along there. That way we can still put the lid on the top of the gumball machine. Now they got another lady. There's a line that we have to cut on, guys. That's gonna be our reference line. Okay, I'm gonna voice over this part because the Home Depot employee wanted to remain anonymous in this, so I respect that. Basically, we started by drilling holes on the reference line, making that titanium weaker. Then we used a saw, as you see here, kind of sawing down the two edges. The last thing we did is used a chisel, and this actually worked extremely effectively to pop this last piece off. We did this for both of the plates, and it worked out great. All right, guys, we are back here at Hunter's house, and we got the little polycarbonate aquarium safe sheet to go on the bottom to make this thing watertight. Check it out. So, Hunter. Is he had drawn the dimensions all that good stuff but we're basically just tracing with a sharpie around the edge of this whole entire thing and this piece is actually gonna go all the way on the bottom and sit kind of flat and then what we're gonna use is use that sealant that we got and kind of glue it around the we have to cut out these little metal rods because those are definitely gonna get in the way of what, what do we call them the polycarbonate sheets mm -hmm. that are on the bottom so we have to cut these out it's gonna be tough I don't know if this will cut through that so uh, yeah I don't maybe know. not we'll see say that but it, it came off <laughs> check that out dude this thing just cut through like metal the face. moment you have all been waiting for we got the two cutouts are they gonna fit hunter i guarantee it guarantee is that a hunter smith guarantee baby 100 all positive. right 100 percent let's see oh baby Wait, we are up. in the business the cutouts fit almost perfectly and there's a little bit of room for the silicone to go around but that's what we want i don't think i've seen a cooler fish tank than this on youtube I don't I don't think there is a cool oh, yeah, fish tank in this on YouTube. Side. This is super sick. Yeah. Tank. <laughs> That's looking pretty good, if I must say so myself. We've done so much to this thing. We have done so <laughs> much to transform this gumball machine into a, into fish, a tank. fish tank, guys. Alright guys, we are inside as you can tell it's a little bit dark outside, but is that coffee boy? <laughs> Wait! We're vlogging here, yeah. guys. We have to make this thing watertight. So what we're going to use to do that is aquarium sealant. And what we're going to do is apply a base layer. Then we're going to throw on our little polycarbonate sheet here. And then we're going to apply another layer of this on top to make it watertight. Let's get to it. First things first, we're going to apply the sealant to the screws. Just so it gives the polycarbonate something to sit on. Bam, just like that. Next, we are gonna apply a nice even layer around the edges on the bottom side. This is like our little reinforcement layer, basically. All right, guys, so we have just kind of an even base layer around. You guys can tell a little bit better from the side here. Just covering the corners where this... Impressive. <laughs> I'll drop the boy where this is gonna sit. That way, this is gonna sit like right about here. So we have the bottom side covered. We're gonna go ahead and put this thing in. All right. Okay. Now we are applying the top layer. It smells like vinegar. It's like, I'm pretty vinegar. sure that one of us is about to pass out. All right, guys, I think that is gonna do it. So the thing with this sealant is you have to wait two days before you can even try filling it up with water. So I'll see you guys in two days and we'll figure out if this thing's watertight. It's two days later, we gotta pick out some essential stuff for the tank. All right, so the first thing we need is gravel. We're gonna grab this kind of colorful stuff and we will actually grab 
into packs. We're also gonna grab these because they glow and I think that could look pretty cool. All right guys, and the last thing that we need is two lights for each side of the tank. So I'm thinking we'll get one of these and this one basically changes colors, which would be really cool in the tank. And the other one we can use if we get glow fish or anything like that. It's a blue six inch LED strip and that would make the fish and the plants in the tank look really cool. So we're gonna get one of these and these are 1997 and 1697. If you got one word of advice to everybody out there, what would it be? Get money. So we're back to Hunter's house. We got the decorations. I'm just hoping that this thing holds water, to be completely honest. That's the number one concern right now. Looking pretty good. We haven't tried filling it with water yet. We're going to work on the lights first, and then we're going to come fill this thing up with water, and I'm hoping that it holds. It's been two days, so this stuff should be dry enough to hold the water. All we did, guys, was an adhesive strip, double-sided, stuck the light right on there, and now, well, it's not plugged in, but this will light up. Bam, guys, the whole entire back of this thing is finished. It looks like a little mess, but let me tell you what we did. So we have the cord from the filter and the LED strip which is on the top of the tank right up there coming down electrical tapes into one single cord that way we can hide it from the front and then what's really cool here is on both sides we adhesive strip the on and off switch on the back that way it's easier to turn on and off the lights that are up here on each side of the tank then all of these wires kind of run down here along the back of the pole electrical tape down here and then we will plug all these into a power strip so it might look crazy from the back but guys look at it from the front you cannot tell me that you see a single cord besides these two cords on the whole entire tank this thing is coming together we got to run this tank back to my house because we're going to see if this thing fills up with water that's the that's the part that i'm most scared about right now all right guys so we have the freshly rinsed gravel here so what we're gonna do is pour about half into each side <laughs> hopefully this doesn't crack and it holds the weight of the gravel all right guys on the left side we have the hashtag fish my favorite part of the whole entire tank and we got the glow plants in the back so with this light that we got the light strip that we have on top it is going to make that thing look crazy cool and then in the back left we got a cool kind of tall plant that fish can hide in it also covers the pump on the right side we have this cool orange plant right in the front and center we also have a cool little purple plant right back there as you guys can see and then also a bigger green plant that will again cover this whole entire filter i am beyond ready to see this thing fully done guys let's fill this thing up with water and turn the lights on careful hunter <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're moving it to its spot, guys. Oh, it looks so cool. We're adding the water. There we go. <laughs> all right, guys, the fish tank is all ready. This is a moment we've all been waiting for. Everything is ready. To, the lights are ready. The filters are ready. The fish tank's set up. I cannot wait to see this thing with lights on. All you got to do, Hunter, hit that red button. You ready, guy? Yes, sir. All right. Oh my gosh, this is better than I ever thought. Wow. This gumball fish tank is absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. So this side is always changing colors. By the time we get to that side, it'll probably be a completely different color than blue. But look at this thing. So the hashtag fish. Oh my gosh. That is the coolest thing ever that I found for the fish tank. Also, look at that. We have these plants right here perfectly hiding the cords. You can barely even tell that there's a filter back there. That is absolutely crazy. And then look. We can still get candy out of there if we really wanted to. Oh my gosh, this thing is so cool. Look at the side now, it's green. Oh my gosh, but guys, this sink is super cool. I love that red plant that we found. Also, this plant does a really good job of hiding the cords and also the filter. We got a cool purple plant back there. It's actually one of my favorite plants. Just the same thing, just a fully standing working gumball machine. Look at this thing with the lights off. <laughs> Guys, the camera does not do this justice. Like, I cannot even tell you. It's just like a real gumbo machine. Look at that red. That red is so cool. Oh my. Look at the red pebbles with that red light. Oh, it gets so dark red. Look at that contrast between the two. That's so crazy. It's just the fact that it was a working gumbo machine a week ago. And now yeah. it's a home. Yeah, now it's a home for, for fish. Little swimmer boys. <laughs> All right, guys, so you know the drill. If this video gets a 1,000 likes, I will post a video of us buying fish for this awesome gumball machine fish tank. Also, leave your comment down below and let me know what type of fish we should get. If we should get, I don't know, what are those, glow fish? Yeah, glow That'll fish. glow in the light or maybe even Catchers. like 
tetras, I don't know, maybe some lake fish, like a maybe Legos. a bluegill, like a baby bluegill, bluegill or minnows. I have no clue, guys, but I want to know down below what you guys think should go in this tank. As soon as this video hits a thousand likes, we'll post a video of us going out and buying fish. So, with all that said, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to build one of my gumball machines into a fish tank. I couldn't do this without you guys, and it seriously means a lot. Like, this fish tank... Uh, <laughs> I can't even put it into words just how cool it looks and how much it means to me. So thank you guys. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're new to join the Army of the Strongest Fishing Army on YouTube. And I will see you guys in the next video. You want to hit them out?